Kristen. I'm the customer service lead here at Vega Helmets. Welcome to our next installment of instructional videos. Today I'm going to show you the basic operation of your V-Tune helmet. The V-Tune helmet is our full face Bluetooth helmet. So let's go over kind of what the helmet's going to look like straight out of the box. I'm going to show you today on our red rock on graphic. So as you can see, it comes with a protective film over the front shield. This also has instructions on how to change the shield. If you're having difficulties with this, please see our other instructional video on how to change your B series shield. One of the key features of the helmet, besides being Bluetooth, is it comes with a drop down inner sun shield. The inner sun shield also has a protective film over it. Please remove this before use. If you're going to use your sun shield, we strongly recommend you close the outer shield. So let's go over some of the other components that come in the box. Okay, You're going to get your charger, which is the wall unit, and also the USB cord. The USB cord will enable you to, be, to charge your helmet on any USB device. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Okay. The last two things that are going to come in your box is the manual. This will give you the instructions on how to use the Bluetooth portion of the helmet. You also get your other manual which will tell you the care for your inner liner and also the outside of the helmet. The first thing we need to do is we need to find the charging cable inside the helmet. So the first thing that we want to do is find the buttons on the outside of the helmet. And on the other side of that, you want to feel around until you can find the plug. Most of the time it's going to be tucked up underneath the neck roll. Make sure you don't pull on this very hard. This is soldered into your Bluetooth box. If you do pull it off, you will not be able to charge the helmet. Okay, so we want to plug this end in with the charger. Okay. First thing that you want to check when you're plugging in your helmet is on the wall unit. If you plug it in, you want to make sure that your charging line is coming on on the wall unit itself. After you see this and you did plug in your helmet, you want to check and make sure that your your multifunction button or MFB is blinking. When it's blinking, that means that it's charging. It took, could take four to 12 hours to completely charge. Once the light is fully red, you are completely charged and you can take it off the charger and use it. If you are having difficulty with your helmet not taking a charge, the first thing that you need to check is the wall unit and make sure the light is coming on. If the light is coming on but your light is still not coming on on the helmet, you need to unplug the USB cable and plug it into a computer to see if it will charge. If it will not charge after that, you need to take it back to your local Vega dealer for a warranty repair. That's it for the basics on the V-Tune helmet. Stay tuned for more instructional videos. Check us out on Facebook or check out our website.